Hi everyone! In this release, we'll talk about trucks, or rather about new safety technologies for semi-trailers, which are designed to provide improved control for huge machines. Let's get started! Volvo Dynamic Steering Volvo cars are deservedly considered to be one of the safest in the world. The Swedish company is constantly improving security systems, and this year has developed two innovative technologies. The first, the patented Volvo Dynamic Steering System, combines a conventional power steering with an electric motor mounted on the steering column. The system receives data from several sensors and cameras, processes them 2,000 times per second, and prevents unforeseen drifts and loss of control by the road train. The second system monitors the position of the car on the lane. Once the distance to the markup reaches critical 12 to 16 inches, the sensors transmit data to the dynamic steering with Lane Keeping Assist system, which aligns the vehicle's position on the lane, regardless of the degree of the road curvature. The signal goes to the electric motor of the steering column, warns the driver, and returns the car back to the lane. In addition, the system can be configured according to the experience of the driver, either to provide maximum resistance when crossing the markup, or only to signal when crossing it. Detroit Assurance A set of security systems, Detroit Assurance, protects drivers and provides safe control and protection on the road. The Detroit Assurance radar system monitors when the truck approaches the vehicle from the front and turns on the active brake function to help mitigate potential collision. The radar system is also equipped with adaptive cruise control, which helps maintain a safe distance to other vehicles within 2.4 to 3.6 seconds from them, regardless of the speed. The radar system uses two sensors to constantly monitor and predict the movement of other cars in the traffic. In addition, the system is equipped with an optical camera that is able to track the position of the truck on the lane, and if necessary, to automatically return it to the marking limits. Harvest Truck One of the Volvo's enterprises, Harvest Truck, developed an autopilot truck designed for harvesting on sugarcane plantations. Due to the unique system, the truck is able to recognize growing shoots along the route and to adjust the route to avoid their ramming with wheels. This solution allows saving money significantly by reducing losses during harvesting. With the help of an innovative system, the truck can move near the harvester at the required minimum speed without running into plants. Testing took place in Brazil. If the development succeeds, a truck with an autopilot will increase the annual harvest of the machine. In general, the savings will be significant over time. Stretch Brake After a peering of the stretch brake system, which aligns the truck semi-trailer when driving on slippery descents, its founders, Volvo Company, started applying it on their truck tractors. This system has significantly increased safety on the roads, as a large number of accidents occur because of the truck's fault. A distinctive feature of stretch brake is its ability to work at low speed of the truck up to 25 miles an hour. At the same time, other similar systems function only at medium and high speed modes. The given system is activated by the driver with the help of the lever when approaching the descent. Further, it turns on when the driver removes his foot from the gas pedal. At this time, the system begins to monitor the movement of the semi-trailer. Embark Peterblit Developers from the United States introduced the unmanned truck Embark Peterblit. As a result of the test run, it covered over 2,361 miles unmanned. The trip took five days because of the need for the driver's rest. Its task was to take control in case of system failures, but there was no such need on the road. The developers assure that after completion of inspection stage and confirmation of the truck's ability to fully reach the final point on its own, the travel time will be reduced to two days. Now, the company's employees analyze the data received during the trip to correct possible shortcomings and to further improve the work of Embark Peter Blit. After that, they will be ready to completely transfer controls to the hands of an autopilot.
Electronic Stability Program. MAN has introduced the Electronic Stability Program into the standard equipment for trucks and buses. The system helps prevent skidding or turning the car on the roads with unstable surfaces. It focuses on gyroscopic sensors, as well as on speed and angle sensors, weed spiel and rotation around the vertical axis of acceleration. The system architecture has an integrated electronic control unit with two main functions. The first one is the program of exchange rate stability. It prevents understeer of the chassis and skidding of the front wheels, peculiar for the movement of heavy equipment over unstable surfaces. To prevent this phenomenon, a simple system of braking the wheel moving along the external turning radius is used. The second system, ROP, is designed to force a speed reduction by limiting the engine speed and braking the driving wheels. Its tasks also include providing the hill hold control when loading and unloading. Thanks for watching. If the video was interesting, do not forget to subscribe to the channel in order not to miss our new releases.